Hey everybody, welcome back once again to another Jurassic World, where, as you can tell, since last time we have leveled up, uh, completed a mission, a mission, uh, just by default while we were gone, just collecting coins from dinos, you know how that goes. So the story slightly progressed, just a little bit, and uh, we now have these two kids who, um, have conveniently showed up to visit their Aunt Claire, I suppose. So, um, before we go collecting any coins, before we do anything else, first, I want to I wanna stress this so hard, okay? Whenever you log into this game, always collect your free packs. Like, just right away, right from the get-go. Because if you don't, right, you are just wasting time, and you are letting that free pack go to waste because they come back at you every six hours and you want to make sure that you get all these goodies as much as possible and and new creations like that guy right there so yeah try that pack not not right now <laughs> we've already tried that pack um, but yeah so now that we have that done you know what actually before we get to the story let's go to the hatchery too and collect all our completed friends and foes. So first up, we have Tappy. Tap, tap, tap. Go ahead and place him down over here. We moved a couple of the biodomes, as you can tell. Biodomes? Is that the correct terminology? We'll say cages. How about that? Moved a couple of the cages just around. We also expanded just a little bit while we were away. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't even pay attention. Our hotel's done. Look at that! Ah, oh, best investment ever. <laughs> Man, I it, oh, nearly fifteen hundred coins every two hours. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Sweet. So, keeping on top of the harbors, we'll go back to the hatchery and get the rest of our guys. Metronitis. Look at him. The tail of a fish and the head of a croc. That is awesome. We'll go ahead and put him over here with... Um, what's his face? I, I can't remember what his name is now. But there you go. <laughs> They're all together. Super rare dino collected. Well, he's, he's not really a dino. But they want to say he's a dino. Look at him! Oh! Metro Ranicus. Metro Rhinonychus? Metroid Rhinonychus. No, it's not Metroid. God. Look at that tail, though. God. It's crazy. You're a crazy SOB, you know that? Oh! <laughs> He's a pushover! Look at that! Jeez. Come on, guy. Get up. Do something constructive. Don't be wasting time, right? So you're a time waster, aren't you? Yeah. He's like, don't talk about me like that. All right. Sorry. We'll, we'll leave you be. Yeah, 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 I know. You want food. All right, we'll feed you. Cry, baby. Should we just go ahead and, like, just give him a ton of food right now? Or should we not do that? You know what? He's a two-star dino. We're gonna do it. I don't care. I really don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Did you see how much the food level went up there? It was just like... It went from like a couple hundred to like almost 2,000 per feeding. That is insanity. It's nothing like Builder, you know? Like usually it was like set in stone what the food amount was. And in this game, they just like totally threw you off all the time. And now he's just... Whatever. He's strange. You're a strange dude. You know that? Yeah. Alright. Well, we have one more. And this is... Ah, oh, I'm trying to think. Is it Diplodocus? I think. Yes, it is! Little Dippy. We will put him down... Oh, uh, we can't put him down over there, can we? I guess we'll set him next to the Majangasaurus. Leave him there. 
And let's go ahead and take a look at him. Dippity doo! Dippity day! Look at you, guy. You have a lot of spikes on your back, don't you? God. Well, I'm not gonna be inhuman. I mean, I might as well give him a little bit of food. Something reasonable, right? Let's see if we can get him to level 5. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Also, we have to... There's something... There it is, the trike. I was gonna feed the trike while we were away, but I thought I'd wait until I come back to do that, just to see how likely it is that we can make him reach level 20. Can we do it? Uh, yes, we can. Sweet. And now we get to evolve him. Ah. Uh, 29 minutes? Screw that. Evolution incomplete, what? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? It's it's by chance? Like, freaking Jurassic Park Builder? But you actually have to spend money? Ah. Just... Just when I thought that we had eclipsed the majority of the problems that Jurassic Park Builder presented us with, all the annoying little tidbits that came with that game, now we're left with this. Evolution incomplete. That is some grade A BS right there. And we spent money to do it. I'll spend money again to try to speed it up, but you know, That's so weak. Thirty dollars. Just wasted. So the trike looks a little different now. He has evolved. He does look, um... A little bit more threatening. To be honest. I mean, how can you not be a little scared? When looking at that creature right there. He just does. He looks a little bit more threatening than the normal trike. Right? I mean, a normal trike is still pretty threatening looking, but still. So, yeah. All right. Well, I think we've done everything we can, just housekeeping wise. So, let's go ahead and. Well, wait a second. There's something in the market. I just want to see if this is anything new or not. Um, oh, we could hatch our new guy. Let's go ahead and do that. Put him in there. Sure, I'll hatch him. Look at you! Man, our amphibians are just like blowing up in our face right now. Look at all these guys. Jesus. It's just insanity. You know? It really is. Um, we could hatch another limey and he could evolve if we decide to start evolving him. Mm, I think I'll worry about that later and we'll hit the story now. Guys, watch your step, please. The monorail shuttle will take us to the hotel where you'll be staying. And we just completed, so it's pretty good for their sake. Otherwise, they'd be sleeping on some freaking rocks or something. Is that where you live? We staying with you? <laughs> Yeah, sure, you're gonna sleep in a room. Me? No, I live in a shoebox across the island. You'll be fine. You boys can take care of yourselves, right? Beep beep. Hold on, I gotta take this call. You mean we're 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 on our own? Yes, you you are on your own. You punk. Whoa! Look at this room. It's like a penthouse we saw in Santa Barbara last summer. Wait till my girlfriend sees this. You have a girlfriend? Like, you kiss her and stuff? Does mom know about this? Yeah, I have a girlfriend. Maybe you'll get one too after you quit acting like a baby all the time. I want to go see the dinosaurs now. <laughs> when are we leaving? Simmer down. Who, who's this guy? Stick stickly? Come on. Who says simmer down? We'll go soon after we get this place looking extra special. And we've apparently already done that. So that's good. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where's my phone? I want to take a selfie. Has, has, has anybody ever said, where's my phone? I want to take a selfie. I mean, isn't it just one of those things that you do without saying, like sneezing and walking away and pretending that you didn't sneeze? It's time for another matchup in the arena. I think you'll like what I got planned. Oh, Vic. You bastard. You really think that I'm going to like what you have planned? You're probably going to just, like, slaughter me. So I did return to the battle arena when we were off screen and had a little battle and we won. And now our next unlockable dino in the battle arena is the Utah Raptor. So, and we have this amphibious assault thing going on, which we can't enter because we don't have a level 10 amphibian. So just got to kind of wait on that. So who are we bringing in? How about... Um, our new amphibious friend. Well, you know what? Who are we matching up against? Carnivore. Carnivore. Herbivore. Okay. So, let's just bring in... No, no, I don't want to bring in... Well... We'll bring in Dippy. All right, so let's just put something in the reserve for the time being. So there was something that I meant to bring up earlier, and I just kind of forgot about it. Um, you may have noticed that a while back I got like a ton of money just out of the blue on the account. Well, you're probably wondering how did I get that? Well, y if you tie in your Facebook account to Jurassic World the game, now, this helps preserve your park, okay, so it's just kind of a, like a, a who wouldn't do that kind of deal. So definitely do that, and you'll get like a hundred bucks, I think, just for doing that. Or maybe it's fifty. I don't know. Um, it was a while back now. <laughs> but, yeah, um, definitely do that. That's one way to get quick dino bucks. Another way, as we make our way through this fight, um, is by doing the whole tap joy stuff, okay? Yeah, I know, you're like, tap joy again? And yeah, I know, that's kind of how I feel too. But, it is a great way to earn dino bucks, just to make your park go that much quicker. So, what I advise you doing, okay, is you can get to it just when you're in the park screen, just tap on the dollar bill, okay, and then it says, earn for free so just tap free and then from there you can just like watch ads okay basically they're all game app ads and all you gotta do is watch them and then you get like five bucks three bucks two bucks whatever it's just a quick way sometimes there'll be special ones and you'll get like 16 i don't know if there's a train going by or what the hell that is but i apologize for that probably thunder <laughs> it's it's thunder in here in the battle arena as well but geez so yeah you can get money by doing that and if you tie your stuff into the tap joy website side of things you can earn big bucks just by like downloading maps and stuff and i'm gonna do that here off screen so like next episode you're gonna see i'll have like 500 bucks that's where i'm getting it from just by downloading the apps and doing that through tap joy's website so you might want to check that out. Sometimes you just gotta spread out your your points. Cause if you don't, you're just setting yourself up for a bruising. I think we're just gonna hit them hard now. Eight? Really? Crap. Dippy, it's up to you. It's up to you, Dippers. Oh, thank God. Dippy, you've made me proud. You have made me proud. And we got the Utah Raptor. Sweet. So, for those who don't know the difference, obviously a lot of you are probably looking at that and you're like, well, that's a Velociraptor. Well, no, 
okay? I mean, this is something that Jurassic Park, the original, I, I, if, if you know about this, great. If not, you're going to hear about it because I'm going to tell you about it right now. Um, in the original Jurassic Park, basically, they're... For whatever reason, Steven Spielberg just kind of fell in love with the name Velociraptor. And an actual Velociraptor, scientifically speaking, is only about like two to three feet tall. And it's not very big at all. And they, they can range in height, too. But the Utah Raptor is actually the bigger, more threatening version. Okay, like the Velociraptors depicted in the original movie. Okay, so, I mean... They really they're changing the name, but it's still the same thing. Does that make sense? But they're still calling it the the raptors raptors because they are raptors no matter what. I mean that's a term that can be applied to birds, too. So now you know, and now you know we're level eight, and we have a rare dino coming up in the battle arena. And look at that, Tajangosaurus. Holy crap! Took forever to get to Jangasaurus last time, and look at this! A rare pack discount! Ah, oh, you know we're gonna do that. Alright, so what do we got? 34,000 coins, 200 DNA, 17,000 meat, and a Corythosaurus! Sweet! Good deal. Man, that is awesome. Unfortunately, though, we are kind of sort of running out of room down here, so that does suck. Very, very much so. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Obviously not put down very many dinos in the near future, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Hatch. Oh, really? Now see, do you remember I unlocked a ton of these incubators to begin with? And now you have to unlock them again? How, why? Why should I have to do that when I've already invested money in that incubator? You know? Like, that that is just bogus. It's totally bogus. I mean, we're going to do it, but still, it's bogus. Jeez. So now, we have two dinos in the incubator doing their thing, coming along. And not much else going on at the moment. We have to level up some dinos. So I think we can do that right now. Something that I want to explain really quick here right now, as a matter of fact, just because I think the first couple of episodes we were diving too much into the gameplay. Things were moving along way too quick. And I didn't really do a good job explaining this, how the evolution process goes in this game, so I kind of want to touch base on that now since we are leveling up dinos. Um, basically, like I said before, we have couples, okay? So we have these Argentinosauruses right now. We have one that's a level 10 and one that's a level 2, okay? Now, both dinos have to be the same level before you're able to evolve them. So you have to have two level 10s to get to a level 11. You have to have two level 20s to get to a level 21. You have to have two level 30s to get to a level 31. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and just try to get to level 10. Argentina Source is there. We'll go ahead and throw him in the creation lab, which costs money or DNA, rather. We can speed it up with money, which obviously costs money. And then as we saw from before, the evolution process can either be completed or fail. And at least when it does fail, you still retain the percentage that uh, you've accumulated during your attempt. Whereas in Jurassic Park Builder, you didn't really get that. So that's at least a good thing that I can credit to the game. But, like... You know, those those previous ones, that, that was just... It, it's always something. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how it is. So, let's go ahead and see the results. And we got successful. Sweet. So, what do we got? Ah! Argentinosaurus, level 11. 
replace him. And look at him. He looks like he's kind of furry, doesn't he? Just like from far away. I mean, it kind of looks like he has fur, but when you get close, you can tell that it's just like different scaling on him, which is cool. Still. So, we did the little brat, one dino, and uh, yeah. We, we still need to do one more, which honestly, it's not going to happen this time, I doubt. Because I don't think that we have any more couples. Um, oh, we have a couple of birds. Okay. And that's about it. So that sucks. But I suppose we have to do it somewhere. And these are going to be the next ones, just because we have a couple. And it would be cheaper to evolve the two of them to get a better dino to fight in the dino arena than it would be to go out, buy another dino. It would just cost more money to do that. So invest in what you already have. Don't go out and try to, you know, try to fight for something that's not there, basically. So we'll go ahead and feed this guy. See how far we get with him. Get to a level 10. And I don't know if we can get to, to a level 10 or not. Probably not. Probably get stuck at 8 or so. Nope, 7. Okay. Whoa! Dude, don't hug your food. Okay, that's just weird. So, we're close on evolving him. And we're close to... Whoa! Okay. So we level up, he just meant level up, level, not evolution, whatever. Gray Mitchell is his name. All right, Gray, well, thanks so much for uh, giving us your nod of approval. How come we're staying with Aunt Claire this summer? Mom said that, Mom said that we would. She's supposed to take care of us. Oh. Gray, shut up. Sh shut up shut up okay first he says simmer down and now he's saying shut up who wrote his dialogue man it's better this way you'll get to stay up late order pizza you know do whatever you want cool at least gray is like true to form when it comes to dialogue so i hear you're into dinosaurs is that right kid yes sir well you just became the luckiest kid in the park I'm taking you backstage to meet our star herbivore today. You might even get an autograph. Which I assume would be a footprint in mud. And it's like fossilized, right? Really? A fossilized footprint? Ah. Have two dinosaurs at level 15 or higher. Okay. So I don't think that we're there just yet. Like, we do have the trike. Obviously. But... Our Argentinosaurus is probably going to be the next best bet to uh, getting that level 15. And we're not quite there yet. So I think that that about does it for today. Oh, you know what? We could do one more thing. Do you want to go to the battle arena and uh, check out the challenges that we have? Let's do that really quick. Just because we haven't done that, and it would be cool to check it out. Now, I have done this on my own, okay? But I haven't done it yet in the series. And basically, when you win, okay? Because I've won one and I've lost one. And the challenges are very random, okay? Like who your opponents are. Um, I actually was matched up against one guy who just started the game... And then in my next match, I was matched up against a guy who maybe started the game in its beta stages because he had like four level 30 dinos or something like that. It was nuts and I just got obliviated. So you got to be really careful and it does cost money to enter these. So just be confident in the dinosaurs you have before entering these challenges. But we're doing it today just because you know, I want to show you the challenge arena. So, oh crap, I forgot. We uh, are waiting on some dinos at the moment. Well, we'll go ahead and pay to get them in there and we will bring Dippy along. And we're matched up against somebody not that's going to kill us, hopefully. Oh Christ. 
See, the, this, is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, you, you really have to be very, very careful. Because otherwise you'll have some schmuck smiling at you from across the way saying, Wow, I just won a ton thanks to your weak-ass dinos, you know? Oh, thanks for giving me a bonus. God. I know, there's somebody out there saying, Well, you can still win, you just have to know how to man- You know, shut up, alright? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, when you look at it, you really don't have a chance because of the... The, uh... The stamina of some of these guys. Yes, we can win, but it will be a very, very long shot if we do. So... Okay, well, we got the weakest one done. Jesus. That thing is terrifying. Looks like chaos effect. Whoa! God. Alright, Argentinosaurus is the last one. And we have nothing to defend us right now. Ugh! Man, just held on. Just held on. Getting down to the wire. What are you gonna do? One attack? Really? That's kinda weak. Alright, Dippy. I don't expect you to do much here. But if you can take him down, you will be my favorite dinosaur for... the day, at least. Nope, not gonna happen. So close. <sighs> look at them, they look like they're hugging. <laughs> what is that about? They're just like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna eventually annihilate you, but... God. See, I said it was gonna be nearly impossible, and... I mean, we, we, we almost did it, but... You know... That's, that's just how it goes, so... We lost money, we lost our fighting ability for a couple of our dinos, we lost our patience, we lost our funds, I already said that, but still, it's just another way of enforcing that we lost money, and it's just weak when that happens. So, thanks for watching everybody, and uh, next time we will be back with some new creations, Carithosaurus and more, here in Jurassic World. Bye.